eaten up by ambition, determined to become the foremost power in all China, Kao Chu has at last hit upon the perfect plot. Liang Shanpo's fortress still stands invulnerable as a symbol of defiance to evil, and its inspiration must surely be the noble Lin Chung. Kao's vile plot is to have Sung Jiang, the former good judge, tortured terribly, forcing Lin Chung to come and attempt a rescue. Then, Kao's minion, Huang Wenping, will capture Lin and kill him. I know who you are. I'm called Tai Sung, the chief warder. This one, use Song Chang as his own messenger. I think we should take care with him. Sir, you run this jail. Can it work to torture Sung continuously? It could be more effective to wait a little. I'd try gentle persuasion. It could be a good idea. Aching, hey, so why don't you have a little rest, sir? Yes, perhaps I should. Oh, that's good. Yes, why don't I show you somewhere comfortable? You might as well take a rest yourselves, huh? I'll look after him. Oh, Chief, that's uh, very kind of you, right? Right. My back's killing me. And so is the prisoners. Mm. Sung Chang, are you conscious? <laughs> Listen to me. You can't take much more. You're going to die if they don't stop the torture very soon. We can think about rescuing you later. But just for the present, admit it. Treason. Anything they want you to. I won't confess. I know that you're quite innocent. It's an excuse. But they can't torture you if you confess. Now try him. You're going to send that man Song Chiang to the capital? Mm. I know you're one of Kachu's protégés, but it does look as though you're exceeding your authority. As governor, I've decided a trial for something as serious as treason cannot be held here. Mm, don't you see? Locally, facilities are quite inadequate. Then there's the problem, what if Liang Shangpo came? Yes, I see your problem, Excellency. You're afraid to take responsibility or make decisions. There's no need to try him. Just sign an order. It's all very well, but Liang Shangpo... What is it? Nothing. How could Liang Shangpo get here? It would take many days to move an army of outlaws this distance across the country. Execute him, and then there's nothing to bring them here. Oh, how can we be sure? No trial can be organized in time for us to be certain. I don't have the authority... Order him killed without trial. All you've got to do is to sign the execution order. An order? On what pretext? None at all. <laughs> Do you need a pretext to save the country? Governor, Kao Chu may be no friend to your father, the Prime Minister, but dare you defy him? Have you forgotten the letters? Found on Sung Chiang, clearly proving a planned rebellion. And now the man's confessed to everything. You must kill him before an army of outlaws gets here. An army of outlaws? Inevitably. Send him to Pekin and they'll attack your escort. All you dare do is kill him. Yes, sir. Uh, but wait a minute. Oh, but it's not safe to wait. I must wait until I've asked permission from the capital. My father might be angry, but if I have his permission, there's no problem at all. I can't agree to that. It would take too long. Which guarantees Liang Shangpo would hear. Then they'd certainly arrive in time. Ah, except you're forgetting that Chief Wada Tai Tsung would only take a week to get there, and any execution would take ten days to arrange. Excellency, your discretion triumphs. Mm -hmm. mm. Right then, one week. That's what I wanted. Tai Tsung, knowing speed was imperative, ran faster than ever before in his life carrying the letter from the Prime Minister's ninth son to his father. He ran, however, toward Liang Shan Po. But from Liang Shan Po had come Wu Sung, disobeying Lin Chung's instructions. He was meeting Chang Shun, Liang Shan Po's new friend. Chang Shun, manager of the local fishermen, shared Wu Sung's concern for the fate of the good judge. 
Oh, what news? I can't discover anything. And now Tai Tsung has disappeared. Tai Tsung vanished? And I don't know where, but it seems he has been sent off on some sort of errand. Just to go off without a word like that, though? Why didn't he leave a message? No time, I suppose. Wherever he was sent, though, I guess... Tai Tsung would head as fast as he could to Liang Shan Po to show the letter to them. You don't say. Then I'm in trouble. You are? And Sung Chang? He may die in that prison cell. Yes, I know. Only Lim Chung told me not to come. And I deliberately disobeyed. Now I'm afraid he'll never forgive me. As well as everything, letting Sung Chang be caught. But what can you do? I don't know. Only one thing. Rescue him myself. This is the spot. You do realize that there's no hope at all of you succeeding. There's nothing I could do to make you change your mind. Nothing at all. Chan Shung, I've got to try to get him out of that jail, even if I know that there isn't a chance. Wu Song, I agree. I won't try to stop you again. Of course, I'll come with you. No, you won't. My friend, I'm not having you risking your life. I want to risk it. I haven't known you very long, and yet Sung Chiang and yourself already seem closer to me than real brothers. It's mutual. But you're not a member of Liang Zhang Po, really, are you? That's right. I've no answer to make to that. I didn't mean it to sound like that, only that I can't let you risk your life for us. And anyway, you'll be a great deal more use to me down here with the boat. Yes. I'll be waiting. I can only pray that gods will smile on you. Be careful, brother. Move aside. Ah! Poking around my prison. I advise you to remember that I am an officer in the Imperial Guards. Ah. And you, were anything to go wrong, both of us would be beheaded. Ah. Kao Chu won't excuse any sort of failure. Yeah. Sung Chan, where are you? 
in this cell? Sung Chang. Ah, I'll have you out of there. Abundant, touch the guard. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Stop where you are! I know who you are. One Wen Pig. Oh, you hairy hearthrug. Liang Shang Po, most likely. Now surrender. Oh, no. You're the swine did this to Sung Chang, are you? Don't you feel any shame at being an Imperial Guard? I'll chop your head off. You can try. You don't even carry a sword! <laughs> <laughs> Fu <laughs> Song, save yourself. I can't even walk. Good. Arrest those two men at once. <laughs> He's mine. Oh. Ah. Oh. Stand away, or he dies. So will your friend. If you try anything stupid, you moth-eaten tomcat. It's a draw then. Anyway, for today. But I'll be back. Oh. Out of the way. Oh. Out of the way. Oh. Oh. Wait. Lock this man up. Sir. So Chang, you're the bait that's going to catch me a fish by the name of Lin Chung. You'll rot in jail till you're beheaded. Move! Oh. 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 Keep on away! Don't hurt me, we'll let you go! You will not! Oh. Don't let him go! Wait! You're going to drop your sword, unless you surrender. You're both dead men. Oh! And what happens to the chief of your own jail doesn't matter to you. Anyone who lets himself be captured deserves what happens to him. Take aim! Holman Ping! No, no, don't do it! Shoot! <laughs> That's him gone. Even if all the arrows missed, he'll be drowned. Usung! 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 Hold back! I heard something! Ah, close. I'd better get going. Even as Tai Tsung arrived with his news, Kung Sun Sheng, Magus, and master strategist of Liang Shan Fo returned from a foraging trip. Kung Sun Sheng, Lin Chung. They told me the news as soon as I arrived. Hu San Yang, Shi Chin, Tai Tsung. We shall need all of you to help. You have a plan already? As soon as you return? An idea. Sun Chang's in jail, and of course we must rescue him. That's the letter asking the Prime Minister for authority to execute our honoured comrade. The Prime Minister's ninth son seems to have difficulty in making his own decisions unlucky for us. Tai Sung, how many days did you take in getting here? Less than two. Thanks for that. That gives us, at least that gives us a little time in hand to save the honest judge. Lin Chung, there's only one hope. Take every man that we've got and go and attack the castle. No, it's not that easy. Most men are out foraging, as I saw on the way here. Even if we had thousands of them, we'd... we'd not get an army there in time. I'd say that's intentional. All right, a force march. With as many men as can make it. Remember, they hold Sung Chang there as a hostage. We don't want him killed. No, wait. You are our strategist. You said you have an idea. I have. Though before I explain it, we better ask ourselves some questions. This sudden decision, 
to execute Sung Chang. What could Kao Chu's dogs hope to obtain? They think I will come and all of Lian Shan Po's rebel leaders, they hope to isolate and trap us. And more, they've left only enough time for a handful of us to get there. You're saying they expect us to attempt a rescue, not all of us, just a few? Yes, I think so. In that case, they're right, aren't they? I owe Judge Sung Chiang far too much to be able just to stand aside. Lin Chong, you mean you? I can and must, though which way does my duty lie? None would think the worse of me. Declining to die on a hopeless task, yet it's not hopeless. And I can't refuse to pay my debt. He also saved my wife, Shaolan. Gave her back her hope. I owe him more than life. I shall go. Lin Chung. Lin Chung, you're sure. You're thinking, aren't you? to try to rescue Sung Chang on your own. Lin Chung! I must try. No one can persuade me otherwise. Although Kao Chu wants just that. You can't. Liang Chang Po has Shao Kai and the others. Lin Chung's our spirit. I know that Liang Chang Po will die without you. I know that you believe that. Yet life goes on after the death of anyone, doesn't it? I must try to help Sung Chang. I said I have a plan. Please listen to it first. There are three parts to the plan. First stage is this. Tai Sung returns there with a letter. A letter that we write, ordering that Sung Chang be sent for trial to the capital. I like that. And we're out there waiting for the escort. We ambush them. Not quite. You can be certain Kao Chu's men will start out at once. And after a week, you, you bring a message that has been an error and that to return to the town. They should. Believe the governor's runner. Buy some time. While we get between them and the town, meanwhile the rest of our forces will have a chance to arrive and then we can rescue Sun Chang. Very good indeed. It all hangs on a delay. It must succeed. Now I shall go and forge the letter. Lin Chung, let's pray Shi Chin is right. <laughs> the letter? I have, and Tai Sung has gone. Though I'm hardly professional, it ought to do the trick. Very good, I'd say. Though, what's this seal you've used? Here it is. It seemed better than a signature from a man's father. The letter would be written by his secretary. I used a seal we had. That's true, yes. Only what sort of seal is this, then? We had already a seal he used on a letter to the Emperor, and I thought it might come in useful if we kept it for ourselves. We failed then. What have I done? A Prime Minister writes to his Emperor most differentially, and this seal is for inferior to superior. You weren't to know, but it betrays us. Are you sure? I'm afraid there's no doubt at all. What father would write like that? A governor will never believe his father could have written to his son like that. Where are you going? To try to catch Tai Sung. You can't. A man who runs faster than the wind. The only thing we can do is start after him. Fast as we can. Unaware that he was running into danger, Tai Tsung returned to the governor. Aware of their danger, Lin Chung and his friends raced after him. But no horse can race the wind. Yet, when the tiger's hot breath is already upon your neck, it may be preferable to mistake it for a summer's breeze. You! Messenger! Tai Tsung, come in here. Well, you were quick, as I thought. The letter, there. Uh -huh. The reply of the Prime Minister to his knight son. I want to see it. But it's not addressed to you. 
Obey. I want to read it. I take full responsibility. Yes, you will. And he'll flay you. This is a letter from the Prime Minister. Curse him. So charmed to be taken to the capital. Thank you anyway. Now, you may deliver this. How can I with a broken seal? What shall I tell the governor so you won't lose your hide? I'm sure you know. Tell the truth. Say to the governor how fast you ran to Liang Shampoo, you bandit pig. Liang Shampoo. <laughs> what gave you that idea? suspicions about you right from the beginning. I'm not a fool. Yes, it is one seal used by His Excellency, the Prime Minister. But unfortunately for you, my friend, it is not the right seal. It is the seal of an inferior writing to his superior. And no father changes rank with his son. Liang Shangpo would never know the finer points of court etiquette. But I do know them, as I know now you're from Liang Xiangpo. Right, arrest him. Liang Xiangpo was coming. Caught like a fat pheasant between hawk and arrow, the weak governor was now forced to agree to Sung Jiang's execution. A date was set, carefully, before the main forces could arrive. Yet, in time for Lin Chung and the others to spring Cao's trap. Hear me, Sung Chang, and Tai Tsung die tomorrow. Ah, Imperial Guards, here. You, you from the detachment I asked for. Sir. You brought how many men? Sir, with me there are 64 of us. Also, sir. What? Cao Chu is here with you? Supreme Commander coming here. What an honor. No one here expected it, but I'm glad to report, Excellency, that everything is well in hand to catch the outlaws. Yang Shanpo are not, but my special enemy. How oh, I hope that Lin Chung is leading those who are coming. It's Lin Chung's death I want most. I can't afford to leave that to you. I see. There have been no signs of Lin Chung yet. Good. I think that's good. It means he'll only get here at the very last second. He will come, though. Lin Chung is that sort of man. Now show me the plans you have made to catch him. Ah, yes, plans. Uh, there, you see, I've put the scaffold. Now, soldiers, you can see by the drawing. You're green. You're very raw. Huh? Do not concern yourself with such little matters as the gallows. Instead, the whole, the whole castle can become our trap. The whole? How can that be? Easily. Each gate out of the castle is to be defended by the Imperial Guard. And when the first incident occurs, all gates shut and locked, so we'll know as enemies anyone approaching and kill them. The larger the cage, the more we shall catch. Yes. Now you will show me everything. Lead on. A 
It's for tomorrow, then. It's official. They've brought in soldiers from somewhere outside the castle, in large numbers. Can you describe them? They all wore yellow scarves. They look professional. Imperial guards. Count you, orders this. You are discharged and drunk, in disgrace, from the army of the Emperor. Kao Chu dares to use the Emperor's guard now. But what do they change? We still have to stop the execution? We'll eat tomorrow with Sung Chang. Although all things are truly the same thing, all but the greatest sages find unpleasant events seem to rush upon us with the furious speed of a driven chariot. So has come the day of the executions. Disguised, the outlaws move with the crowd into the jaws of Kao Chu's trap. Fruits, vegetables, everything fresh. What can I do for you, lady? Shi Chin, you'll see our signal to move. Act when you see it. Yes. As soon as you see smoke high in the sky, then open that gate and see it stays clear. You'll need to defend it. But our lives hang on that open gate. So make sure of it. Like powder, we'll keep it open. I have medicines to cure all your ills. Red drugs, a pinch of them, and you'll live forever if you want to. Ah, snake charmer. I point one for snake bite. As soon as he blows it open, I'll move in to help Shichin hold the gate. There will be a lot of soldiers. Hold them. Here they come. They're coming. Oh, look at the two of them. You see it, right? Look. Oh, look. There you see it. Come on. What's the matter? Kao Chu is here. Here? And that means a trap. Go to the main gate. As soon as they show themselves, it is to be locked. Yes. On your knees. Cheer up, soldier. It's my execution, not yours. <laughs> Get your lovely fruit. It's all fresh. To your places. Move. You men. I have medicines to cure you of anything that's wrong with you. Medicines. Dai Sung and the former judge Sung Chang are to be executed this day by imperial law, given this day under my seal as governor of Chang Cha province. Both outlaws having conclusively been proven to be members of Liang Chang Po, the bandit group, their crimes include theft and murder, defiance of the government and stealing imperial mail. The latter crimes are treasonous, therefore their bodies will be mutilated. I'll give the signal now. Wait. Let's get the governor down there on the scaffold, and then we'll strike. Though tigers can swim, they are sometimes foolhardy. Out of the way! Oh, Let me get it done! Oh. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Oh. 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 The signal! Who oh. 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 No, like it.
failed. I was late. Kill that man there! Yes. Kill me! Wait. Fung Chang! Thank you. You are right, Lin Chung. You're managing. Thanks to you, I'll help you. We're caught. The back gate? <laughs> the back gate's locked. They've locked them all. All locked. Now what? What happens? Lin Jun! Kao Chu. But we're not yet beaten. <laughs> We're inside the castle walls. We'll fight to the death. Hey! Come on here! Oh, Chang Shun! Oh, he's a friend. Friend or not, he's our only chance. Yes. Fight our way there. Oh, this way. There, you see, the floodgates. I'm going to swim over and try to raise them. It's the only way out now. You stay and defend this side, right? Need a helping hand? They're heavy looking. Wu Sung's not the best swimmer in the world. I'll manage it. Thank you. 
All right, you. What do you think you're doing? You're another Liang Xiang Paul bandit. Arrest him. Ah. 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 Right, I'll kill him myself. Kao Chu was forced to watch the heroes escape. He had forgotten to bring archers. Wisdom, like gold, may be found anywhere. Weapons are an important factor in war, but not the decisive factor. It is people, not things, that are decisive. Is it not significant that a handful of men could defeat so very many soldiers? Yet, how could the soldiers win? They fought for their pay and as a way of life. The outlaws fought for an end to evil, to fighting, and to lies. For only lies need to be imposed by force. The truth defends itself. 